Today's Mass is for Catherine Clark. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My friends, as we gather together today for the Holy Mass, let us call to mind our sins so that we may be better prepared to enter into these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call upon you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Even those of us who live here in New York City sometimes forget what a maritime place it is. In fact, the very existence of New York as a, as a place of interest at all was basically as a trading post where you had the confluence of several uh, bodies of water that gave access to much of the North American hinterland. And not just the great rivers, but also some of the smaller uh, estuaries, the Great Kills in Staten Island, Raritan Bay in New Jersey, the Bronx River, uh, Newtown Creek, and, and here in Brooklyn, the Gowanus Canal, a little inlet that was a, a place of many, many industrial uh, companies for, for generations and generations. There was a report on the news the other night that the city of New York is undertaking a multi-million dollar, multi-year project to dredge the bottom of the Gowanus Canal because it is so badly polluted with industrial muck and mire and uh, to, to try to make it safer for the people living uh, nearby. When I saw that report, I was reminded of something uh, that C.S. Lewis wrote in his book, Miracles. He compared the incarnation and the resurrection to, of Christ to the mission of a deep sea diver who is diving into the bottom of the sea to retrieve a treasure. And he, he says that first when the, the diver strips off everything and dives into the water and plunges through the top part of the water where the water is clean and bright and green and beautiful. And the deeper he goes, the darker it gets until he hits rock bottom amidst all the slime and the sludge and the muck. And when he finds the treasure he's looking for, he grabs it and pulls it and brings it back up again. And Lewis says that's the incarnation followed by the resurrection, and the treasure is human nature itself, which he redeems. Today in the readings, there's a common word in both of them. That word is sent. Our Lord says in the gospel that the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. Well, what was this sending? He's speaking about a mission. It's a mission of retrieving us from the muck and mire of sin. But what's also very important is what we have in the first reading, which is the Acts of the Apostles. It's the follow-up to the resurrection. And it says that the, the cr Christian community in Jerusalem took uh, Barnabas and Paul, and after they prayed and fasted, they laid hands on them and sent them off. They were sent to do what? to make the same dive that Christ made as missionaries, as missionary disciples, to dive into the world now beyond Jerusalem and to reach the, first the Jews, then the Jewish converts, and then even the Gentiles themselves. We are in that tradition. We are the ones who have been retrieved from the bottom of the sea of sin and now we are to be the ones to be sent. Let us do our best to be sent 
and to, as Christ says, say and speak that which the Father has told us. Let us pray. We pray for the church that it may continue to be sent on the mission that Christ has given it and to be faithful to that mission, we pray to the Lord. For all those who need to hear the words of life and light that Christ has brought into the world for our redemption, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have asked for our prayers, especially those who are searching for faith, we pray to the Lord. For healing for the sick, for harmony for those in conflict, and in a particular way for peace in the Ukraine, we pray to the Lord, Lord hear us. And for the intention of today's Mass, for Catherine Clark, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear the prayers we offer and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this song, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Joseph, Saint Teresa of Avila, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this us day our daily bread and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The risen Lord is our life. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. We invite you to remain tuned for the devotional prayers immediately after the Mass today. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, 
by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Litany of St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Chase to God. 
Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most strong. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of artisans. Pray for us. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever, amen. An act of consecration to St. Joseph by St. Alphonsus Liguri. O holy patriarch, I rejoice with you at the exalted dignity by which you were deemed worthy to act as father to Jesus, to give him orders and to be obeyed by him whom heaven and earth obey. O great saint, as you were served by God, I too wish to be taken into your service. I choose you, after Mary, to be my chief advocate and protector. I promise to honor you every day by some special act of devotion and by placing myself under your daily protection. By that sweet company which Jesus and Mary gave you in your lifetime, protect me all through life so that I may never separate myself from my God by losing his grace. My dear St. Joseph, pray to Jesus for me. Certainly, he can never refuse you anything as he obeyed all your orders while on earth. Tell him to detach me from all creatures and from myself, to inflame me with his holy love, and then to do with me what he pleases. By that assistance, which Jesus and Mary gave you at death, I beg of you to protect me in a special way at the hour of my death, so that dying assisted by you in the company of Jesus and Mary, I may go to thank you in paradise and in your company to praise my God for all eternity, amen. The Lord be with you. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.